Hi and welcome. I'm Chef Roger and we're about to demonstrate how we make a consommé. So a consommé is a stock from which all impurities have been removed, resulting in a richly flavored, clarified broth. The clarification needs to be done to make that consommé. The clarification is the process of removing all impurities from a stock during the process of making a consommé. So to make that consommé you will need two liters of broth. Here I'm using some beef broth, 200 grams of ground meat or fish. Since I'm using beef broth here, I'm using some ground beef for the clarification. 40 grams of leeks, 20 grams of celery, 100 grams of tomato, 6 egg whites, 40 grams of carrots. All the vegetable will be cut into a julienne size. Julienne size, it's very easy. Here I have my leek, I'm going to put them like that in front of me, and I'm going to Cut them very thinly this way. I'm going to do the same with my celery. For the celery, I take my celery, I cut it in half like that. I'm going to make thin slice on the bias here. Like that. And I'm going to take those here and overlap them together. It's going to be easier for me to make that julienne. Now we're going to cut all that very thin, very thin little strip. Okay. Same thing with our carrot. going to find those this way and then cut them up We're going to cut the tomato. Tomato is not going to be julienne, we're just going to chop it up kind of parsley. I'm going to take a large bowl, I'm going to put all of those in it. To that I'm going to add my meat, the egg whites, yeah, we're going to mix all that together well. Now here I took the time to make a nice little julienne. It's good for you if you want to practice on your knife skills. But if you don't have the time or if you have a lot to do, you could use a rubber coop, a food processor, put everything together, process it, and then use that to make your raft. I prefer that way, but the other way I know works very well too. I'm going to bring that broth here to a boil. So my broth is coming to a boil right now. I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to let it set for five minutes. I'm changing bowl here. I realize that this one will be too small. So the broth I've been setting for five minutes. I'm going to add a little bit to my mixture here. Stir it in. I'm going to do what we call tamper. I'm going to tamper the meat here so it doesn't get too hot too fast because if I was to put that meat directly in that hot boiling liquid right after it came to a boil everything would coagulate right away the meat will start cooking your egg white will coagulate and you won't be able to form that raft so what we need to do is to bring the temperature of that here of those ingredients close to the temperature of the broth to do that we're tempering it I'm going to add a little bit to it now I'm going to stir it out inside. I'm going to 
add a little bit more. And stir it. Now I'm going to put all that into my saucepan here with the rest of my broth. Everything goes in. Now I'm going to stir everything. I put the heat back on. And what's very important now is you almost never want that mixture to come back to a boil. It needs to come to a very low simmer. And when it comes to a low simmer, we're just going to let it cook gently. Now, the process of making a consomme is very delicate. What happens sometimes is the raft break or it comes to a boil and the raft kind of explode. You want to stir it till it starts simmering lightly. At that point, you will stop stirring. Here, why do I want to stir? It's to make sure that the meat and vegetable and egg white, you know, they could just stay in the bottom, sit down and start burning. And this is the last thing you want when you make a consomme. So this is why we stir it all the time till the raft start to form. You will see when the raft start to form because will, everything will run and set together. And this is what we want. But again, make sure you don't stop stirring it. Now, when it comes to a simmer, and the raft start to form, you want to stop stirring at that point. If not, you will break your raft and you won't be allowed to make a nice clarification. One thing in mind when you make a consomme uh, is you could only just use egg white. This is possible. Just use egg white and you will do a clarification. Now we add vegetable and protein to it just for flavor and add a little bit more flavor to our broth. But it could be done only with egg white. Keep in mind also that for one liter of broth, you will need to use three egg whites. One liter of broth, three egg whites. Now, as you can see when I'm stirring that, I'm not being too brutal, huh? I'm stirring it delicately, moving it around. So it's coming to a simmer here. I'm gonna lower the heat very, very low, and just let it cook slowly. Huh? This is your wrap. You see here how it is right now? That's the wrap that's forming. Then using a ladle, you're going to create a little well in that raft here. You see, you're grabbing delicately some of it and you pour it on the side. And you'll see that soon, you're gonna see the clear liquid under that raft. See the liquid right here? This is your raft. Now, I like to test my raft to make sure it's nice and solid. How do I do that? I'm going to take that spoon here, I'm gonna put it on top of the raft and if it's right, it won't sit down too much. It doesn't. I'm going to remove it before it goes all the way down. But now you have a good idea of how firm that raft should be. And we're going to do what we call, we're going to moist the raft. And that's going to give us a beautiful consomme. Not too much movement, just barely simmering and you let it cook. We let it cook for 30 to 40 minutes till it's nice and clear and we have a nice flavor. Then I will strain that consomme. As you can see it's getting much clearer already. That needs to cook for another 10 minutes and be ready to be strained. So remember, huh, we want a very very low simmer. Now we need a little bit of simmering. You can't just stay with no movement in it at all because then it means that maybe there's not enough heat and you're not going to get any flavor out of it. You might clarify it, but you may be weak in flavor. So the consomme is ready to be strained. I have some cheesecloth here that I'm going to wet and I'm going to put it over that china cup to make sure that when I strain it, there's no impurity going through it. Now, I would really, you need to have some cheesecloth or a very, very fine strainer to strain your consomme. I wet with cheesecloth. This is just so it stays better into my china cup so it doesn't fall, you know, from it. I'm going to lay that here into my china cup. So to strain it, the last thing you want to do is take your pot and just pour everything here. You will run everything. You need to ladle it out. You take, use a ladle 
and just lay out the broth into your china cup like that. And voila, I'm just done straining everything. I'm going to remove that from it. Now I can just grab the cheesecloth and remove everything here like that. One of the questions sometimes is what could I do with that raft? Well, there's not much you can do with it. There's not much flavor into it. So to degrease it, I'm going to use those strips of parchment paper. I like using parchment paper because I can use both sides of it. If I'm using absorbent paper, you only can use it once. But here I can use it both side. And you'll see also that only the fat will stick to the parchment paper, not the broth. And this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going like that. And I'm grabbing all that here is fat. Now I'm going to do it again using the other side going this way. Here we go. And I'm doing that till there is no more fat on top. So now when you have that, you will serve that, you know, in your regular soup bowl. Or, I mean, this is maybe not your regular one, but a soup bowl. And you could add little garnishes into it. What is nice is, as you add your little garnishes into it, you can see those garnishes clearly through the broth. And it looks very nice. It's a very delicate dish. Thank you for watching that video on how to make a consomme. Hope to see you next class. Bye-bye.